Cool. Hello, Gearspace. Uh, this is Dennis from Between Machines. Um, I'm just going to show you two sequencers that we've been working on. They're both prototypes, but one will be available hopefully in September or October this year. So the first one is called Clocker, um, and it's a, a kind of quasi-algorithmic sequencer. So you have swing and tempo knobs here. Um, you have five outputs. Uh, the, the one output up, uh, outputs a trigger on the, on the one of the bar. So you can see when the light flashes, that's the one. Then the clock output just outputs a straight clock, so I'm using that to trigger the kick drum at the moment. And then these three knobs relate to these three outputs, so there's div, mult, and blend. Uh, the mult output relates to this mult knob, and so basically it's a multiple of the tempo that you've set with the tempo knob. So it, it determines the probability of the multiple being applied, so at the moment it's multiplied by one. If we turn it here, you'll hear it multiplies the hi-hat by two. And if it's in the middle, it's a 50 cent pro probability that you'll get a multiply by one and 50 cent percent probability you get multiply by two, so it creates rhythms. Um, and if you like what you hear, you press this button in the middle and it'll loop the, the last bar of the rhythm. So it's a way to kind of capture the rhythm and hold it and, and repeat it. Um, so it's a really good way to make beats. So we have this other knob up here, which is the mask knob. The mask knob thins it out, so you can hear that there's less now. And then if I turn it this way, it, there's also less, and in the middle it does nothing, so we get the full uh, output. And so the div uh, knob is the same as the mult, it's just divide by four, divide by two, similar idea with probability. And then the blend knob is a blend of these two probabilities, so I'm gonna use that to trigger this rim shot here. So if I'm down with uh, at this uh, level here, it's using the probability from the div knob, if I go up here, it's using the probability from the mult knob, so if I change that, you'll hear that it goes to sixteenths. And then as I move over, it starts to kind of thin out a little bit. If I like the rhythm, I just grab it, and it'll loop. So it's a really good way to make patterns. You can, you know, add in a ratchet, and that, that will loop. It's, so it's almost, it's closer to a kind of looper, like a pedal or something. So then with the mask, if, um, if I apply it in this direction, these, the probabilities are weighted, so this one will land on the off beat more likely, and this one will land more likely on the beat. And if I mask it in this direction, it's the opposite. This one lands on the beat, and this one lands in the off beat. So by moving this around, you can create really nice rhythms. So everything is uh, CVable. Uh, you can also mute the blend output, so that mutes the rim shot. And then you can flip here, so that actually flips the mult and the blend output. So it's a nice way to introduce variety into your patterns. So that's Clocker. Um, so we're going to talk about Keeper. I just need to uh, switch something over here. So the other module is Keeper, and it's designed to work with an Ableton Push, Push 2 controller, which uh, I have on the table here beside me. So Keeper, there are eight outputs in the core module and four inputs. The USB from the push controller connects directly into the module, so you don't need a computer. So there's a chip in this module that drives the push controller directly. So if we look at the push controller, I just uh, sorry, just to say we also have an expander here. So you have eight outputs from the core module, but then you can expand it to 16 outputs if you add the expander. So if we go to the push controller, the workflow is, I've borrowed some things from Ableton's workflow, but uh, there are some kind of unique uh, live uh, uh, kind of pattern authoring features as well. So I can do like standard step, step sequencing here. So I have uh, kick on track one, uh, snare on track two. So if I duplicate, it creates a, a copy of the pattern. I can add in the snare drum. Duplicate again, I can add in the hi-hats. Duplicate again, this is um, CV gate, so. So I can record that. Uh, duplicate again, I go to this track, it's a kind of stab. If I put on repeat, it's like an arpeggiator, so I can also record that. And if this shift button is flashing, I can actually play the patterns. Then I can cap 
capture that into a new pattern. So this is what I've just played. Um, so that's then editable, you can create other patterns with that. And then um, I suppose the final thing to say is that you can also arrange your patterns very easily. So I need two hands for this. So I just hold the pattern I want and I, I put it onto this arrange canvas and then I hold this other pattern and then when I select that pattern, it will just loop between the patterns that I put onto the arrange canvas. I can add another pattern in, it'll start playing that one and then it'll loop back around. I can delete patterns, it's all very fluid. Um, there's swing per track, a lot of other features, yeah. So, so that's Keeper and that should be ready sometime next year. Um, I think Clocker will be somewhere around maybe 250, something like that. And then Keeper is, is kind of unknown at the moment, but somewhere in the four or 500 bracket, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, thanks a million.